Hi. In the last video we have learned how to create the dynamic calendar. In this video I am going to show you how to create the row calendar. So when we change the month or year or day, the row calendar will display the next column. So how we can create? That's what we are learning here. It's we are using here the index function in order to create this row calendar. So let's go through starting from August 2019. So here we can start with the index function. So I'm starting index. First one array that is a result. So our calendar start from B6 to H11. So first array I have mentioned here then we need the row. So how I am creating here I am using in, in function here more function and rows columns. So we need to know the August 2009 first August 2009 which row and which column. So first one we need to know the row. So we can start with row 1 plus int integer number here I am using the row here so starting from first row that is b1 so b1 minus 1 divide by columns columns are full range of array so starting from b6 till h11 lock it then row completed now i am adding here the column column mode which we learned from the dynamic calendar row the same b1 minus 1 plus columns same ranges b6 to h11 lock it bracket close comma columns array b6 to h11 lock it plus 1 now i'll show you how it works we got it first august 2019 so how it works i'll show you first one array that is the result or output is that one b6 to h11 then i am using here b1 minus 1 that means row 1 minus 1 that is 0 first one 0 b1 minus 1 is 0 0 divided by columns column 7 here b6 to h11 is 7 always 7 let's see here b6 to h11 that is 7 from b6 to h11 so 0 divided by 7 it's 0 as usual then 0 plus then it's we got it the 0 there 0 plus 1 that is 1 let's check it 0 divided by 7 it's 0 plus 1 then it's 1 so we got the row 1st August 2019 on the first row of that calendar first row of that calendar 
now we want to know the column I am using the mod in order to get the remainder here so b1 minus 1 here is 0 plus 7 at b6 to h11 how many columns 7 columns so 0 plus 7 7 7 mod 7 again 7 that is 0 there is no remainder plus 1 1 so first row first column very easy So we got it here 0 mod of 7 by 7 0 plus 1 then first row first column so we can drag it this till complete date complete month so we have got it here complete months are here So I can start check the second uh, date 2nd August 2019 we can use the evaluate formula here we can see the the first one the underline one row B2 that means 2 second row minus 1 2 minus 1 1 evaluate again it's 1 by column 7 a b6 to h11 total 7 columns so 1 by 7 1 by 7 it is 0 0.142857 we can make it the nearest integer this one so it's 0 see it's 0 so 1 plus 0 1 then we can use the mode again here for the column B2 minus 1, 1 minus 1, 1, 1 plus 7, 1 plus 7, it's 8 here. Mode of 8 by 7 it's 2 so that is in the second column now we can go through the second row August date we can go through when we will get at this how it works now before that I can show you the in function in 1 by 7 it's we have got it 0 because it goes to integer without int we can see how it works it's 0 0.142 so here we have used the int because of that Now we can go through the second row that is start from August 8 here. So August 8 how it works that is B8 minus 1 B8 minus 1 that is 7 7 divided by 7 1 we got it 1 1 plus 1 2 though no, that is second row row second August 8th on second row that is B8 minus 1 7 by 7 1 1 plus 1 2 again the column also the same is on the first column only so how it's work 
b8 minus 1 that is 7 7 plus 7 oh, 14 14 14 and mod mod 14 and 7 what is it 0 remainder plus 1 is the first column that's how it works I hope you understand this video you can try the numbers also the same if you have more than one column and more, more than one row numbers you can use it I hope you understand this video if you like this video please share it and if you have if you want more videos please subscribe